M0 FX Beach looking at the radio, the TGD77 DMR radio. And I just thought I'd put some links in because I know some of the older ones are broken. So let's have a quick look now. Go to open, I'll put the link in the description here in GitHub. Open GD77 and it also works on the DM1801 here as well. So it makes the radio a lot more usable, opens up lots of uh, quite cool features within the GD77. So have a good look down here. And if you look down, you'll get to the point where you do need to, to up, upgrade or change the firmware to, to have these extra features. And if we click here, you can see there's a link here about a quarter of the way down the page. Open, it's called Open GD77. So I've not, I don't even know if you're allowed to use this or not. I'm just providing information. But if we just click one here, firmware binaries, for example, we'll click here like so, and then we've got a couple of options here. The newest date is 11th of July 2021. You click one of them, and then you've got this uh, file that opens up. With a bit of luck, we'll just try it again. Let's try this one here. Firmware here. And look, you've got all these different firmwares. So give it a go. I'll put the link in the description there. Loads of information here. And I've got another link here where there's uh, like a, a forum where you can just talk which is uh, and ask questions. So I'll put that in as well, PHPBB. And there's another one here with loads of modifications. Like These are more hardware modifications to do with different buttons. And I'll just scroll down different displays there's a German display here not sure I haven't closely looked but there are loads if you if you've got a GD77 look um, modifying the um, the charging dock it's going down through looks like doing some stuff here with the with the speaker even a color change there not sure how they've done that so loads of info here so I'm going to put it all in the links in the description I do like looking at photos of radios that have been dismantled um, so check it out let me know how you get on what sort of firmware you like using and the benefits of that firmware apparently it's easier for um, connecting to different DMR talk groups you get better information you get a signal meter and other things uh, so really it's just an info video to provide links for the firmware and other information if you've got the open gd77 we'll just quickly try and look at the cps while i'm here because i did see that come up let's just go back one this one i saw the cps there somewhere be nice to see that there's a lot to look at here is there a cps gd70 cps let's click that just for fun, oh, you need to do the Comport driver, which I haven't done yet. Open CCS installer. So if I, well, I don't need to do the Comport because I haven't got the radio. <laughs> Let's just click that. We'll do keep. We'll have a very quick look at the programming software. Click when it does this. I just click more info here. Run anyway. That's it. Go through that. Just finish, let's have a look at the programming software. No warranties, blah, blah, blah. So here it is, and you can actually upgrade the firmware just using this program. I've never done it, but you can. There's some videos doing it. Uh, contacts, have a look, digital contacts. Yeah, the usual thing here where you can add a contact. There's some here already, look. Um, you can add a contact just by clicking add here. Give the contact a name. The name is the least important thing. The actual thing that matters is the number. So let's just go call it 2350. And then put here, call the call ID is what matters with with these contacts. Group call. And OK. So got some other options here. Call ID. Yeah. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. But look, it has I'd created it. Now that call ID is wrong, so we need to change that. Let's, let's clear it. Let's do add again. 
Let's do, remember I'm just playing now, 2350, call ID 2350, does it just automatically create it? Yeah, it has, let's put it there, look, so it just creates it without having to click enter, import, export, internet download, that's good, talk group list, brandmeister, yeah, it looks like most co-plug so you've got your zones there's only one zone created at the moment the channels is the key one let's add a channel add a channel so let's call it do a digital one let's do the frequency now I'm just gonna four three one like my um that'll do for now channel name let's call it uh, tg9 we'll call it tg9 so now we'll have to select the color code is one times repeat a slot. Let's just do two for fun. Talk group list. We're not going to do that. Oh, we might as well select Brandmeister. Uh, talk group list. Radio ID. So I'm guessing that's my uh, DMR number. Let's put it in there straight away. Contact, we do have to select the contact. See, it says contact there. Yeah? How does it let me um, edit? Must be a way of editing this. No, can't see how you edit. Let's just add it again, another one. And then we'll go TG9, digital. Oh, it knows I've already created one. Oh, there's the contact. See, it's not applicable here. So let's start again. So let's go digital. We'll name it TG10. Why not? Frequency. Four, three. And you want TX and receive. Four, three. Three, like so. And then color code, slot. And then this is the important one here. TG9. If you don't select that, nothing will work. There you go. So that's your channel. I'm actually learning this. We've got our channels here. Now we need to put those channels into a zone. So there's one I've just created. Go like that, click add. And then when you write this to the radio, where's the write section? Write to radio, read to radio. It, you'll have a channel in a zone with the correct contact number. The contact number is really important. Um, DMR idea should have done that really. So call sign M0FXB. Probably better if I do caps. M0FXB. And then we'll go 2341437. I probably might do another video on this, creating more of a code plug. Um, so we've got that in there. Let's have a look at our channel again. And we've got another channel here. Uh, so this is how we change it. We see the channels, you go channel one, that's the one we change, channel two. And we change it like that. Double click the actual channel here. I bet you can add as well. Add, look, it's added a channel four there. If I double click it and now I can add everything here. So yeah, I'm starting to understand it now. Talk group lists, don't really have to use them, I don't think. Oh, we've got DTMF, that's quite good. And limits boot DMR call sign. So okay, I might just do another one where I create four or five channels and do a sep completely separate video on that. But yeah, thanks for watching. This video is really more about the links that you can get for firmware and additional um, help. Seven three all the best.